Welcome to Talking Trash, and today we're going to continue talking about non-toxic cleaners, fall cleaning in our household. So last week we talked about, oh, things like cinnamon and vanilla and how we, how we cook them, and actually you'd simmer them on the stove. You can do it for five minutes, makes your house smell great. You can do it for two hours if you like. So just a simple, simple little uh, aromatherapy, I like to call it. So I, I love that smell. That's what I kind of want heaven to smell like is cinnamon or baking bread. Wood. Oh my goodness, that smells good. So another thing for washing dishes, when you're in the kitchen, washing dishes, you can add a little bit of baking soda in your, in your dish water if you're doing it by hand or in your dishwasher. I actually just take, um, take this and I sprinkle a little bit in the bottom of my dishwasher. And that helps um, break up the deposits of the, the mineral deposits in your dishwasher. Also, another thing that gets rid of spots on your dishes, whether you do dishes by hand or you use a dishwasher, is vinegar. Vinegar, I just pour some in the, in the bottom of the dishwasher or in the water that you're doing dishes, hand dishes by. And this is a great spot remover, and not to mention a deodorizer and disinfectant. Uh, just remember, when you mix these two together, what do you get? A little volcano. So if you do that in the dishwasher, you're going to have some little sizzling going on. So just to, just to remind you on that. Okay, let's move to the bathroom now. We're going to kind of move into the bathroom. How about faucets? Do you have faucets that are kind of uh, got min mineral deposits on them or things like that? What we want to do is we want to get a lemon. And what you're looking at is something citrusy. So I'm sure even a lime would work. And put a little bit of salt in the bottom. Take the lemon, dip it in the salt, and you just rub that on your faucets. And then that's going to help break up. There's a little bit of acid in the, in the lemon. And then the salt is the coarse that's going to help the elbow grease get that, those mineral deposits off. Then you just buff your faucets off, and that's a great cleaner and non-toxic. Great, simple, easy, pretty economical, too. How about um, if you don't have a lemon, you can use vinegar too. So if you have either one of those at your house, you can use that. How about um, if you need to have a little bit of elbow grease and your elbow isn't enough, using a toothbrush. Simple, simple, simple. How about uh, shower doors? Shower doors, you can use distilled vinegar also. And that's, just get a spritz bottle and you can, a um, couple tablespoons of, of vinegar and water, spritz it on your door if you have tough stains mineral deposits on your shower door, use straight vinegar. That's a, actually, someone asked me about uh, some stains on the outside of their vinyl siding, and I would even use that if you've got some rust stains on the outside of your house. Try this first before you buy the real toxic stuff at the store. Pretty simple. And that should at least get some of the, the lighter stains out. So, um, shower door is another thing. If, if, um, if you have some kind of scum in the shower door rails, on, down on the bottom. You can use a toothbrush to scrub that. You know what makes that happen is that water collects in that little rail and then sits there and kind of gets slimy and moldy. Another thing that works great is you take a, a foam a paintbrush and you sop up all the moisture on the bottom. And it's dry. You're not going to get that sliminess and that, and that liquid in there. So pretty simple, pretty simple. How about using um, using your towel that you've dried your hair with and wipe down your your uh, glass door and you don't have those spots sitting there so it's, it's just really simple one of my favorite things that i wanted to share with you well, i have a couple favorite things i actually have a lot of favorite things but okay scissors if you have and this isn't really cleaning but this is like tool taken care of if you have scissors that that don't want to shut and that maybe have some goop on the inside has some adhesive on the inside of their scissors or they're not sharp anymore take a piece of sandpaper and just cut into the sandpaper. That helps sharpen your scissors. How simple is that? You don't have to take them to get them sharpened all the time. You can do it yourself. Pretty simple. So if you have any um, suggestions for different pointers, let us know. 846-7310 and we'll share them on or go online and look for yourself. Have fun. Happy fall cleaning.